Good morning, St. Paul. Welcome to chapel on this very uh, beautiful morning. Uh, we begin like we always begin. We begin in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Grace to you and peace from God our Father and Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. This is the day which the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. From the rising of the sun to its setting. The name of the Lord is to be praised. Have no anxiety about anything. But in everything, by prayer, let your requests be made known to God. They who wait for the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings like eagles. They shall run and not be weary. They shall walk and not faint. As we gather today, uh, we're going to celebrate our National Day of Prayer tomorrow, uh, but today in chapel, we're going to hear a little bit about uh, the history as well as doing a lot of praying. Uh, one of the great things about the St. Paul community is that we just don't celebrate prayer on one day out of the year. Uh, we do that every day. Um, but a little history on the National Day of Prayer. The National Day of Prayer is the annual observance held the first Thursday in May, inviting people of all faiths to pray for the nation. It was created in 1952 by a joint resolution of the United States Congress and signed into law by President Harry S. Truman. Each year, a special prayer is written in celebration of the National Day of Prayer. Please bow your heads and fold your hands as we pray together. Lord, we exist to give you glory. We exist because of your glory and in your glory as our creator, redeemer, and sustainer, we give you thanks and praise for every breath and every moment you have given to us. We repent of our sin, for the shameful things we have done against you, and for our silence when we did not speak up to proclaim your name, profess your word, or protect and practice your will. We ask for your forgiveness. We pray that the knowledge of the glory of the Lord will spread across our nation and the entire earth as we seek your kingdom and righteousness as we walk in obedience to you and in humble unity, love one another. Jesus, the Bible says that you are the knowledge of the glory of the Lord. You have taught us to pray, command us to love, and commissioned us to share your gospel of grace. Your glory fills our hearts and families. It overflows into our neighborhoods, workplaces, campuses, churches, entertainment, and media. We give thanks for our military and ask that your glory would spread to and through them as they preserve freedom around the world. We pray for our government that all of our leaders and laws would be filled with your glory, that they would magnify your holy word and honor your will and ways. We pray that your grace and glory would spread to bring hope to the hopeless and love where there is hurt and hate. God, use us as we pray your promise, that the earth will be filled with the knowledge of the glory of the Lord as the waters cover the sea. In Jesus' name, amen. So we're spending time in prayer today. Let's hear what God's word is telling us. Way back in Genesis 4, 26, we hear, at that time men began to call on the name of the Lord. And that was with Adam and Eve and the family just beginning here on earth. And all throughout the Bible, there are 355 occurrences of prayer all the way through the framework of redemption and that redemption story of Jesus coming to save his people because he loves us all the way to that last book of the Bible in Revelation chapter 22, verse 20, where it ends with a prayer. Amen. Come, Lord Jesus. Let's hear some other Bible verses that are having to do with prayer. Ephesians chapter 6, verse 18 says, Pray in the Spirit on all occasions with all kinds of prayers and requests. With this in mind, be alert and always keep on praying for all the Lord's people. Philippians 4, verse 6 says, Do not be anxious about anything, but in everything by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving, let your request be made. Known to God. Luke chapter 21 verse 36 says, 
but stay awake at all times, praying that you may have strength to escape all these things that are going to take place, and to stand before the Son of Man. Jeremiah chapter 29, verse 12. Then you will call on me, and come, and pray to me, and I will listen to you. Matthew chapter 7, verse 7 says, Ask, and it will be given to you. Seek, and you will find. Knock, and the door will be opened to you. Colossians chapter 4, verse 2. Devote yourselves to prayer, being watchful and thankful. We know our Bible verse really well from 1 Thessalonians 5, 16, and 17. Be joyful always. Pray continually. Give thanks in all circumstances, for this is God's will for you in Christ Jesus. We're encouraged that we can pray continually. Some days I'm talking to God throughout my entire day. We can come to him and he hears us. To improve a relationship, sometimes it's working on that communication. And I don't know about you, but for me, that's one of the ways I can be in communication with God is in my relationship with him, to talk to him. Cast your cares on the Lord. So any of our worries, any of our troubles, God wants to hear those. We can come to him and praise him. We can come to him at any time and talk to him. One of my favorite verses is from Psalm 55, verse 22. This was my confirmation verse, and it reminds me to cast your cares on the Lord, and he will sustain you. He will never let the righteous fall. He wants to hear from us. Another one that talks about cast your cares or your burdens, 1 Peter 5, verse 7. Cast all your anxiety on him because he cares for you. A really fun song that's going to remind us of this is Cast Your Burdens Unto Jesus, for he cares for you. Let's sing. Cast your burdens unto Jesus, for he cares for you. Cast your burdens unto Jesus, for he cares for you. Now we're going to lift Jesus higher as we raise the roof. You can maybe add some jumping, you know, pep it up. Here we go. Higher, 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 higher. Lift Jesus higher. Now we're going to go lower, lower, lower as we stop Satan lower. Lower, 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 lower. Stop Satan lower. Cast your burdens unto Jesus for care. Jesus, for he cares for you. Higher, 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 higher. Lift Jesus higher. Lower, 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 lower. Stop Satan lower. Higher, 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 higher. Lift Jesus higher. We have some amazing prayers that uh, many of you have uh, stepped forward and sent in. And at this time, uh, we're not only going to watch those, but each time uh, we watch one of those prayers, we are going to pray uh, with those students. Please pray with me. Dear God, please be with all the healthcare workers that are trying their best to keep us healthy and safe during this pandemic. And hopefully everything's going to go back to normal soon. And thank you for this amazing day and everything that you've done for us. Amen. Dear God, thank you for this day and thank you for all the gifts you've given me and everybody. And please keep everyone safe and healthy from this virus. Amen. Dear God, thank you for this wonderful day. Thank you, God, for keeping us safe through this crisis and all the frontline warriors he is helping. Thanks for the teachers who are keeping us educated. Amen. Dear God, thank you for this day and just keep us safe and let us um, learn what we're supposed to learn and just have a wonderful day. Amen. Dear Jesus. Dear God. Dear Jesus. Thank you, God. Thank you, Lord. Dear God. God in heaven. 
Dear Lord, Thank you for all the sweet family that I have. And thank you for that you love me and, and my sweet brother and my sweet family. Amen. Thank you for everything that you give to us each and every day. We pray that you would be with us and keep us safe during this time of uncertainty. Thank you for all you do for us. Amen. Please heal everybody from the coronavirus. Amen. Thank you, Lord, for dying on the cross and washing away our sins. Please help the sickness go away or get better. Amen. Dear God, make sure this whole thing ends really soon. In your name, amen. God in heaven, hear my prayer. Keep me in thy loving care. Be my guide in all I do. Bless all those who love me too. Amen. Dear Lord, thank you for this amazing day, and I pray that you will keep us safe during these stressful times. Please guide us and show us the way to live each and every day. Thank you for everything you do. We pray all of this in your precious name. Amen. A, B, C, one, two, three. Thank you, God, for feeding me. Amen. Thank you, God, for a beautiful day. Thank you for our help and your love for us. Please keep us safe in this time, and thank you for this family time, and please heal anybody that has a coronavirus or another disease or has a broken body part. Amen. Jesus Christ, be thou our guest, our morning joy, our evening rest. Amen. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. And always taking care of us. Taking care of us. We love you. We love you. Amen. Amen. Dear Lord, thank you for this day. Thank you for all the healthcare workers and everyone on the front lines, and please give them strength through this tough time. Please protect them, and please protect the whole world, and hope this pandemic ends soon. In Jesus I pray. Amen. Thank you for my teachers. teachers. Thank you for my friends. friends. Thank you, Lord God. Amen. Amen. The Lord, my shepherd, all not want. He makes me down to lie. In pastures green, he's leading me. The quiet waters by. My soul, he does restore again. And me to walk does make. Within the patch of righteousness, even, even for his own name's sake. Yes, though I walk in death's dark veil, vale, yet I will fear no ill. For you are with me your rod and staff comfort me still my table you have furnished in the presence of my foes my head you do with oil anoint and my cup overflows goodness and mercy all my life shall surely follow me and in god's house forevermore my dwelling place shall be dear god thank you so much for all everyone that is providing for us in this time our teachers our family even our friends that support us. Thank you so much for letting our, for our teachers who have come together and in a short period of time provided an alternative way to learn. And thank you for family supporting us and helping us, all the students finding, find good places to learn and giving us the tools to be able to. And thank you for friends uh, because they support us and can help us and just have our backs and thank you for everything that you do and thank you for providing for us when we need it the most and just all the time and thank you for staying staying close to us and in our hearts all the time amen thank you god for this beautiful week beautiful day and beautiful year amen Thank you, God, for bringing us here together for another uh, online Zoom class, and we pray that we can have fun in this Kahoot and learn some stuff today, and that we do this all in your name. Amen. Amen. Thank you. Dear God, please keep our St. Paul families safe and healthy in this difficult time. In your name, amen. As we pray together, 
I'm going to be the leader, and as the people of God, you will respond with, hear us, good Lord. Let us pray. Almighty God, because you have committed your people to the ministry of intercession, hear us as we pray for one another. Hear us, good Lord. We pray for the world. Lord of all, we pray for your whole creation. Enable us to bring an end to violence and injustice, to feed and clothe people, and to be faithful caretakers of the earth, so that all may enjoy a good world which you have made. In your mercy, hear us, good Lord. We pray for the church, Heavenly Father. Be with your church. Give all ministers of the word your grace and truth that your people might grow in faith and that Christ may be honored by all. In your mercy, hear us, good Lord. May we pray for those who are ill, especially those members of our St. Paul community. Source of all healing, we ask you to strengthen the tired, to ease the pain of those who suffer, and to let those who are dying know that you hold them in your loving arms. Lord, in your mercy. Hear us, good Lord. We pray for family and friends. O God, our Father, bless those who we love and help us to love all people so that as you love us, we may grow in love for one another. In your mercy. Hear us, good Lord. Almighty God, you have given us the grace to make our prayers known to you and have promised always to listen. Fulfill our request as may be best and grant us knowledge of your truth in this world and in the life to come. Through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord. Amen. Amen. Lord, remember us in your kingdom and teach us to pray. Our, our Father, who art, who art in heaven, heaven hallowed, hallowed be thy name. name. Thy, thy kingdom, kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Please join us as we sing together, No Longer Slaves, that we are a child of God. Lift up your voices as we sing together. You unravel me with a melody. You surround me with a song of deliverance from my enemies till all my
and keep you, make his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. May he look upon you with favor and grant you peace. Amen. Have a great day, St. Paul. Remember, Jesus loves you. Go in peace and serve the Lord. Thanks Thanks be be to to God. God.